It's a very subtle center because it is Mother's center. It's impossible to understand the love of Mother. Somebody who is oppressed by aggressive people <coughs> or is threatened, intimidated, then a person starts losing faith in the powers of Mother. So the centered heart is to be looked after. Out of fear, if somebody is thrown onto the left side, away from the Mother, because she's the one who gives us confidence, who gives us courage and bravery. But if you <coughs> are frightened or if you are under fear, also you can be thrown to the left side and you can get into all kinds of diseases which are very serious, incurable as they call them. <coughs> Another thing is, if <coughs> you are driven by your senses into indulgences without any dharma, <coughs> then also this central path throws away, you can say, you to the left side. Now this center is the one which when we are afraid, the sternum bone starts moving like a remote control and informs all the ganas that the attack is coming. But when you deliberately go to the left side and get into indulgences, then they are not bothered. They say, all right, go ahead, do what you like, you can behave the way you want to behave. All these different types of movements towards the left takes you away from your mother. <coughs> I'll tell you a story about somebody in America. He's a very old Sajogi Indian. He came out of his shop where he was working and got into his car, there was one man sitting with a dagger and he hit him with a dagger on the center heart. And this fellow started bleeding. He said, I don't know what happened to me, Mother. I got such strength, I caught hold of him and I started fighting with him and I took the dagger from him. He had the handle and the dagger came into my hand. And the fellow ran away. <coughs> but still I was not worried about my bleeding. What I did, I called my colleague who was coming out of the car, I ran after him. And he took me in his car for half an hour searching that fellow. They didn't go to the police. And then they went to the police. The police were surprised. The whole shirt was full of blood. He said, Nobody would believe. Even the police were shocked. For half an hour you were searching this fellow. Why didn't you come to the police? He said, It would have taken half an hour for you to come. So we thought better do it ourselves. See the courage. Then, of course, he was taken to the hospital and he was all right. They say, stitched in her, uh, but he's all right. That is the sign of a person who can never get any one of these horrible diseases because there is no fear in his mind of any kind. <coughs> and he's an Indian, he said, I've never even slapped my own children, I've never fought with anyone. I'm not a wrestler by any chance, nothing of the kind, but it happened. He says, I don't know how from where I got this shakti and how I did it, I just don't know. There are many stories like this, I can tell you about Sir Yogis <coughs> and about so many saints, how they were never afraid of <coughs> attacking someone when somebody attacks them or of protecting themselves from all kinds of horrible things with their courage. This is something one cannot believe sometimes, but it is happening every day 
I get letters from people how they have been courageous. If you believe in the Goddess, then know that she is extremely powerful, she is very intelligent and if she has to protect you, she will protect you out and out in such a way that you will not know how you have been protected. But this faith has to be developed. Faith has to be developed by experience also, how you have been protected always, how you have been helped always, how you came out of so many crises. But despite that, if you get upset, worried, if some clouds appear in the sky of your life, then if you get upset, that means you are still weak. So first thing, if you are really worshipping the Goddess, then you should have no worry at all of any kind and you should have no fear at all. Go ahead, fearlessly. Whatever you are doing, do it fearlessly. <coughs> But it, at the same time I have to tell you the other side, that one should not uh, go about like a zombie, it doesn't mean that, saying all kinds of nonsensical things of the right side. But if you have to do something, do it with clear-cut ideas and also without any fear. So all her powers will start manifesting it. The man who is fearless, has nothing to worry about his uh, sleep, his well-being, nothing. He's fearless. Again, I say fearless does mean that you go on hitting everybody, saying all kinds of things, no. It means that you are fearless, anybody who attacks you, you can always protect yourself. I mean, this story I told you, because this was not a protection uh, which was from within, like, uh, goddess protecting them, but actually protected himself. So the power had started working through. You should allow your mind, your body to project these powers. Otherwise we say here, pujas, everything, all right. <coughs> and the power is there. But your mind, which tells you, no, 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 this is not so. There's so many stories, so many miracles people have described about this. So first of all, you should not have any fear about it. <coughs> if you have done nothing wrong, <coughs> if you are on the right path, you will be always protected. Now remember this, you will be always protected. Remember this and believe in this, that I am always protected. This is something very difficult because perhaps our mind gives ideas, oh God, what will happen now, what is going to happen, and this thing, that. So first and foremost thing, as I said, is to be fearless, to make the Goddess express herself. Now if the leader of an army is a frightened personality, what will others do? Thus you become dependent upon yourself. This faith also must be developed. I have seen people who are sick, so they must come and see me, because they do not depend upon themselves, they can cure themselves. There is no need for them to come and see me. Now there are many cases where people have cured themselves, cured others just with prayer, but the faith when it is not uh, mature, then they think, I, I should treat them, I should touch them, I should do this, I should do that. Now I've stopped it. I used to do once upon a time. Reason is now you depend upon yourself. Not only that you can help yourself but you are going to help others. But if you do not have faith in yourself that you can cure, you can look after yourself, you can protect yourself, so the whole thing becomes like a, all the time the mother has to do the job. Now you, first of all, you have to feed the little baby, all right? You can let him eat, look after him, do everything. But when he grows up, then he doesn't want 
his mother to feed you. In the same way, the Sahaja is now, how many years I've been working? You have to grow up dignified and you should <coughs> mature so that you can yourself do things properly. This maturity is there because your mother has blessed you. All her powers she has given, every. But one power of patience is difficult. You have to be patient like your mother. You might think it's very difficult, but try to. Must have patience, first of all, with yourself. I have known many people who think they are spiritually nothing and they have not achieved anything. <coughs> this is absolutely a sort of a escapism, that you want to escape your personality. Just see, if you introspect you'll find out that you have developed into a real spiritual giant now. Nobody can touch you, you can do everything, you can look after yourself, you can support others, whatever are the powers, of all these that they were singing yesterday, all these powers are manifesting. 